Welcome back everybody. Today I have a very cool and interesting product in front of me, especially for you camera heads. You're really going to like this. This is the Zion Crane. It is a camera stabilizer. It comes in at $650, which may seem expensive, but in the market for really nice camera stabilizers, it's actually not that bad. And this thing is dope. Full disclosure here, Zion sent this product out to me. I wouldn't normally buy this for $650 because this product is meant for stand-up videos when the cameraman is walking around and moving. And I only do those every once in a while when it's like an office tour or a special type of video that I have to go outside for. And normally my pretty basic $100 shoulder rig does that plenty fine. But this would replace that and this will replace that from now on. So whenever I do have a stand-up video like that in the future and it's extremely silky smooth, this is the reason. Okay, so first things first, I wanna talk about the packaging they send it in. Because when you're getting a $650 product, you'd hope that they send it in the appropriate packaging, and they definitely do. It's got this very big hard shell briefcase, and then on the inside, you're looking at foam with like the perfect cutouts and everything. Really nice to see this stuff, because if you're gonna be traveling with this, you don't wanna just like throw it in a backpack and you have a dedicated case for it. Good stuff there. Moving on to the product itself, it is made out of metal, which you'd expect at the price point, but it's not too heavy of a metal where if you were just holding the stabilizer and a small camera on it, it would get tiring. It's definitely manageable. And then the big thing here to, for me is that it's not a huge footprint. Some of the really expensive stabilizers out there are these giant rigs that you'll carry around that are just huge things to deal with. This is a handheld stabilizer. It's meant for smaller cameras, so that makes sense, but it is handheld, so it's really easy to maneuver and carry around and do with less people, and it's less complicated. It's, uh, it's, it's good stuff. So it uses two batteries and it actually comes with two sets of the two batteries. They're not like a normal battery, they're like a weird special type of battery, but they include two sets and they include a charger. And the battery life is pretty solid. I mean, I've only used it for like 10, 15 minutes at a time, but they charge up really fast as well. So you'll never really find yourself with both sets of your batteries dead. So you're good there. Okay, I'm gonna take you through the setup real quick. So the first thing you have to do is actually screw the handle on because it comes not attached and then put the batteries in. And then you would screw your, your camera on the top plate over here, but since I only have one camera in here, I'd tape the lens, because MS Tech are super professional here. I tape the lens over here so it would have a little bit of weight, because it needs the weight to balance. So when it's not on, it's just gonna dangle around and do whatever. To turn it on, you just hold the power button, and the light will start flashing, and in a couple seconds, it will automatically balance to the weight that's on there. And that's what's big here. It automatically detects the weight there and balances it to that weight. You don't have to set anything. You don't have to fidget around with anything. It just works. Now there is a joystick on here that you can use to tilt it up and down as well as pan it from side to side. So that's useful and it's a super smooth pan and tilt, but you can't control the speed of it. But using the built-in speed and the function, you can kind of get this cool action if you like match the speed of your movement to the speed of the pan and tilt. It can look really cool, and if you get used to it and good at it, you can do some really cool things. Now it supports a wide range of weight and to adjust to that weight, so if you go from, some, from something really light to really heavy, they do have a couple adjustments within the system itself uh, using thumb screws that you just slide along some rails and it's pretty easy to do. I barely had, I moved it a teeny bit for the a6300 because that's a pretty light camera and it worked perfectly, really easy to do. Here you can see a side by side of me walking. The left side is handheld with two hands trying to keep it steady and the right side is with the crane stabilizer. You can see what a big difference it really makes. And now you're looking at me running. The difference is even more noticeable here because of the added movement, the crane really does look good. And lastly, now you're looking at a walking selfie, say if you were vlogging or something, you can see that it really does help in a vlogging situation, but because of the weight, I don't know how practical it really is. Conclusion time. For who it's meant for, the Crane is a really good product. It's not expensive for a camera stabilizer, it's handheld, it's light, it keeps it extremely steady, and it's so easy to use. But it's not for that many people. 99% of you, this is not for you. 99.9% .9 of you, this is not for you. It's not even for me, because I only could use it like once every couple months. It's for the filmmakers out there and the videographers that are constantly doing shoots where they're walking around or running and need a handheld stabilizer. This would be an awesome product for them. So if that's you, go ahead and pick it up. If that's not you, don't buy it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.